I think I've always been interested in science. My parents were chemists. For all of my childhood, I remember being interested in science and actually not knowing very much about medicine. Then I arrived at college and I was here at Harvard College and studying science, biochemistry, and started to get for the very first time a glimpse of how basic research or science can really affect clinical medicine. You could actually see how someone studying a very basic question in the lab could ultimately bring new discoveries on how we might care for patients in the clinic. When I first started training in oncology, we had very few treatments for our patients. It was a very, very challenging field because we did not have a very good understanding of what was driving the growth of lung cancers. Back then, 18 years ago, there clearly was an unmet need. What I've been fortunate to see over just the past decade is really an incredible transformation in the field of oncology at large, but I would say for thoracic oncology and lung cancers in particular. My own research over the last 10 years has focused on a few key oncogenes or genes that promote cancer that are turned on inappropriately in some patients with lung cancer. These genes, one of them is called ALK or anaplastic lymphoma kinase. The other gene is called ROS1, can be turned on through chromosomal rearrangement and now can really drive the growth of those cancers. Now that's very important because if you have targeted therapies that can turn off ALK or ROS1, they can be very, very effective for these patients. Patient care is really our first priority. And so while all of us conduct research, we may be running clinical trials, we may be performing basic research, really at the end of the day, the most important thing for us is the clinical care of our patients. For many of our patients, we've actually followed them from the very beginning. Sometimes there have been many successes and sometimes there have been a lot of challenges. As oncologists, we care for these patients throughout the entire course. We are helping them navigate what can be sometimes a very complicated and scary course. And I think that is incredibly meaningful for us to be able to help them in this way. This is a very challenging job on many levels, but I think all of us who do it actually really love it because it is an incredibly rewarding job to be able to be in a position to, to help patients. It's a very privileged position, I, I feel. We often have great days here at Mass General. A great day for me would be a clinic day where I get to give great news to patients. I get to tell them that they underwent surgery, you know, three months ago and there's no sign of their cancer. Or I get to tell them that they just started on a new targeted therapy pill six weeks ago and their cancer has dissolved away. We have more and more of those now given all of the new discoveries and again, I think we're just going to see more of that um, in the next decade. My name is Dr. Alice Shaw. I'm a medical oncologist at the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center.